Jada with stvbroadcast.com and I'm here with Mr. Dennis Williams. He is a successful businessman. How are you today? I'm great. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, my name is Dennis Williams. I'm a Australian, but I've uh, lived in America for a long, long time. And um, I am uh, doing business between Sierra Leone and Liberia. I'm an international businessman. I travel all over the world, you know, to fit good stuff for my business in Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. So how was the commute traveling back and forth international doing business? Well, it's great because I meet a lot of people and I enjoy traveling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use it as vacation. I go with my family sometimes. And um, doing business, you meet a lot of interesting people, which help you. It does help your business. You have a lot of connections and that help you to, to be able to be productive because you're able to get products from people. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes that you meet on a flight or when you go places. So and it's great. And a successful business? Uh, what makes successful business uh, when you make profit and you treat your staff right mm -hmm. and um, your, your, your product that you're selling is respected and they, they look forward to buying your product again. So good quality? Yes, yes, it okay. makes it good quality, yes. Great. So I hear you're aspiring to run for mayor of Freetown. Tell us why you decided to do that. Yes, definitely. Um, I was born in Freetown. And Freetown is a beautiful city. Uh, it's a city that is loved by so many people. It's an old city, a city that was uh, bought by the, uh, for the free slaves. So I'm um, a Creole by tribe. So I want to run the city and make the city a better place. So I'm aspiring for the office. I want to bring a lot of changes in that city. Okay, and what kind of changes would you bring? What would, your, what would be your biggest contribution to Freetown? Well, Freetown, the, uh, the main thing I want to do, I want to bring some transparency into the office. Okay. I want to bring dignity into the office. Mm -hmm. So with my mm, dignity into that office, I will be able to do a lot of changes in terms of finances. I will be able to bring a lot of revenue in the city. I will be able to bring and decency into the city, I'll be able to bring security into the city. So I have a lot of plans right. that I can do, you know. Um, we, we need light in some of the streets in Freetown and I'm planning, my plans will be to make the city a 24-hour city, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so what would you focus on first once my, you're in office? My, my main focus would be revenue drive. I'm going to bring a lot of revenue into the city. Okay. With revenue, uh, we could be able to bring the city back to the standard that we used to know it to be, and we could make it better. You know. Okay. How can you help with poverty reduction uh, and healthcare, low-income families? How can you co help contribute to that? Well, if I'm at the office with good revenue, right. we could be able to bring schools. We could be able to help to build health centers. We can be able to bring help to build playgrounds, and et cetera, et cetera. So many things that we can do to make people feel like they're living in a better place. Right. Right. Absolutely. So how do you feel about private school versus public schools? Well, uh, I believe that competition with good schools, the, uh, the municipality can build better schools and renovate the old schools and they can be able to compete with private schools. Private schools are good but they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Majority of the people in Freetown are not wealthy so we need to bring uh, local schools back in order to compete with the private sectors. Okay, yes. so I saw you know your children. How do you pass down education? How important education? It is very important. That's what takes you through life. Education is better than silver and gold. It, education can drive you into the biggest office or can take you to the biggest places in the world. So with education, our country can be successful. Not only my city, mm -hmm. my, the city that I want to run if I'm given the chance, uh, needs a lot of educated people. When you're educated, you know what to do a lot. You know where to put things when you're told. You know how to calculate a lot of things to make a city a dignified place. Mm. Yes. 
and how can you help with not only education but also employment in the city? Well, I believe in youths. Um, my biggest supporters are youths, not, not, not forgetting the older people, mm -hmm. but uh, the younger generation are the future of Sierra Leone. So I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on youth education, adult education, mm -hmm. but the youths are going to be my biggest uh, people to employ because they've suffered a lot in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So I'm inspired. This position, I'm inspired in this position because of the use of free time. Okay, so when it comes to businesses, would the currency affect businesses? Because Sierra Leone has their own um, currency, Leones. Yes. So would that affect? Well, yeah, because uh, every currency is valued by the dollar. Obviously, the way I want, sometimes the, 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 the dollar is so high and the market rate fluctuates mm -hmm. like every other country. Right. But if we have a good GDP, it will help our, our currency. So there are things that are in place right now that will help our currency in the next uh, few years okay. because we have, an, we have an oil, there's a lot of iron ore mining going on in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of changes that's going to take place with our currency and with our economy. Okay. Yes. Now you mentioned GDP. Mm. It's expected to have raised from last year, 2012, from 5.6 to this year, mm -hmm. 6 percent. Well, it has it, it it has gone well for us mm -hmm. because uh, the agriculture sector have increased, the mining sectors is uh, they are is doing well, um, the oil is about to be tapped, so. It's going to help our currency. In the very near future, our currency might be one-to-one -one with the dollar. The reason is that we have a vibrant president that is doing a lot of work to help our economy. Okay. So we, within the next four or five years, mm. Siloam will be a paradise. Mm. Yes. <laughs> it will be a vacation, vacation spot for people to go and visit and exactly. tourists. Exactly. Okay. Right, because we do have a lot of cultural areas that people would like to see. Yes. We have a lot of historical site. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Ceylon was one of the uh, city that was bought for for the free slaves. So Ceylon is an historical country. So Freetown, the name Freetown will tell you is for the free slave. Mm -hmm. And because of our rich history, we're going to have a lot of tourists that will come there from, from everywhere of the world to see a beautiful city, you know. Okay. Now you mentioned you travel back and forth from Liberia, Sierra Leone, doing business. As a Liberian and you being Sierra Leonean, mm -hmm. considering the history of civil war and being neighbors, mm -hmm. um, what are the top things are important to help the country rise to success? Well, first of all, security. We're going to we, we, two country the two countries have to come together mm -hmm. and work on security, which will help. Because when the country is not secure, you cannot, uh, you cannot get a better economy. When a country is secure, you can have toys, you can have uh, a lot of uh, mining, um, different companies coming in to do their work and they feel comfortable. So security is a paramount thing, which we all supposed to work together as a nation. Right. We are part of the Mano River Union. We can incorporate our ideas and our security to make both countries a safe place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now a lot of foreigners are coming and building businesses within those countries. How do you feel about that? Foreigners taking over? Well, um, we have to be competitive. We have to be a, a democratic country. Yes. Foreigners will come, but again, you have to secure your, your citizen. You have to open the private sector for your citizens to strive so they can be successful. So uh, for our uh, citizens to be successful, we have to help them, we have to give them more incentive, we have to let the bank open up to them so they can be able to do business and they can be able to strive and be successful. Are you open to small businesses? Because small businesses is what help middle-class rise? Well, yeah, definitely. I'm a business person. So my idea is to help create business, to help to open markets, to build an area that 
people could be able to trade, people could be able to sell small, medium, light products. So I'm open to helping small business to succeed. Okay, yes. great. How important is technology and the development of technology in Sierra Leone? Well, today our world is technology world. Mm -hmm. Even the kids know about the internet. Mm -hmm. Even the kids know about electronics. Even the kids want to play games yeah. with people in other countries. So technology is very important. Technology will help your country to grow. Um, right now, Sierra Leone is at the verge of expanding uh, the telecommunication, um, the internet services. We, we are planning to do the fast speed internet services in Sierra Leone. Okay. And we are part of it. So we are part, because it, it does interconnect the whole world. So we are part of the, the modern world. Mm -hmm. So Sierra Leone will be successful when it comes to information technology. Mm -hmm. Yes. So will you be open to help, uh, helping organizations that are empowering the youth and empowering education when it comes to technology, like RASTA and like the Student Voice here? Are you open to yeah, helping wonderful. organizations? I'm open to ideas from the youths because they are the greatest people for me because they are the ones going to take over in the near future. So we, we want to open our doors for ideas from the youth student. Okay. You know, because the younger generation will, will bring up a lot of uh, success in terms of uh, technology because it's their area. A lot of them are into businesses that in, in, back in the days nobody touched. So we have to encourage them and inspire them to do more. And we can um, connect with them so we can be able to expand on their ideas and our ideas. And that will help our country to be successful. Great. Yes. So as far as running for a candidate, what is the most important thing you want people to know? Well, I'm there to bring honesty, okay. transparency, mm -hmm. integrity into the office. And um, I want people to come together to help me to make Freetown a better city. Mm -hmm. Because with collective ideas, we can be able to move the world. All right, Mr. Williams, thank you for interviewing with SDV.com, the student voice, and thank you for being an inspiration to Africans going back home and making a difference in Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. Thank you for interviewing me, so. <laughs> this is Majeda signing off from STVbroadcast.com, the student voice. Log on to our website to join our free membership, and you can continue to watch and keep up with more news and events on our site.